John Doe, do you, you have any suggestion or possibly videos about finding your purpose? Hmm. That's a great question. I don't believe I have any videos on it. Um, finding your purpose, I, that's a tough one. Like for me, a lot of it came down to really soul searching, looking at what I enjoy, uh, what I naturally gravitate to, what, um, how I like to interact with others, like the whole thing. Like uh, for me, it was that. And then as I started to accept this is what I liked, I started to kind of let go that life take me to it. Like this, let me, like I sort of to a degree said, universe, this is the direction I want to go. Help me get there. And, you know, it was a fun path. I will say Celestine Prophecies is probably one book, the, the first book for sure. Uh, and then I would even read the next two or three. There's three books, I think, total or four or whatever. Really awesome series. James Redfield's the author. There is a link uh, to James Redfield in, in the in the description of the video. Um, but, yeah, he's awesome. And that actually, I think, kind of helped me uh, really be able to see the path or to highlight the hidden path, if you will. And I think that's kind of a fun way to look at it, but it's kind of how it was for me. Like, where do I go? This is what I want to do. And this is what I think I'm here to do and how I'm here to experience. And these are the things I'm naturally gifted with or whatever. Like, how do I make this work for me? And I, you know, just started pursuing. And really for me, the biggest thing is let go, like literally letting go. So many of us are holding on for dear life and you just got to let go. And when you do, oh, it, again, it's a little freaky at first. You tumble a little but eventually you go into the flow and just everything just starts to happen. You're in the vortex, whatever. Like there's so many different analogies people have written about how it feels. It's fantastic. 